Hello friends, Marcy here, and I have a viewer request um, to compare a couple of inks. Um, recently, I shared uh, Cozy Comforts, uh, a set that I had ordered from Endless Pens, and it was a six bottle set in Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty, happened to be amongst those colors, and a viewer... Um, Rob Mc, MC, I'll post that on the screen. Ask how it compared to um, Pilot Iroshizuku, the Fuyo Soyogen. So I purchased it and also I received a sample from a pen friend, um, Gail, and I actually didn't even uh, realize it until I had swatched it on my book a few days ago. So I do have the sample and a full bottle. Anyway, now I have plenty of ink to share and do an ink swatch. So I'm gonna turn the page and do a live wet swatch of them side by side um, on the same paper because this is a Tomoy River paper. This is the um, swatch book by Wrangle. So um, I'm not sure what kind of paper this is, but I do know that the paper is different. So a side-by-side -side comparison I'd like to show you on the same paper. So we'll just use this um, as the Endless Recorder with the Tomoy River paper. And I think we'll start with the Pilot Iro Iroshizuku. Um, Fuyu Soyogen. This is a great ink. Oh, also, I have this here. I have them swatched. So I want to pull them from the Colodex system to um, show you how I really like this. Um, the cards are loose now because I have less than 100, but after I get uh, the rest of the cards inserted, it'll be There'll be more cards and it'll be more tight. Um, so here's the Robert Oster Soft Kitty Warm Kitty on the Colodex card. And also the Palette Iroshizuku Fuyu Soyogen. So I'm going to pull those out and use them uh, in the swatch comparisons or after the swatch comparisons as well. But you can already see on the um, Colodex card that the Pilot is a lot lighter or um, a bluer, cooler tint than this one. And also here you can see how light it is, but this one shows more blue. And we'll compare those side by side on the um, Tomoe River paper. So let's start with the Pilot Fuyu Soyogen. And put down some there. And Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty right next to it. Yeah. So this one, the Soft Kitty Warm Kitty, shows... I'm going to cap these before I lift my book. On the Tomoe River paper, uh, the Fuyu, Fuyu Soyogen is a lighter, softer gray. And the Soft Kitty Warm Kitty actually shows a bit of a green tint here. Um, let's see what we have here on the Colodex card. And the Soft Kitty Warm Kitty. That's why I like comparing on different papers. I don't see any of the, the green hue here as it shows up here. So let's do the writing sample using the Takamori Brass Nib. 
I uh, finally opened my package and started using it in comparison with the uh, stainless steel nib. So, Pilot Iro Shizuku Fuyo or Fuyu Sayogen. And there we go. And then we will, next to that, put the Robert Alster. This has some gorgeous shading. Now I see um, some like pink and blue green in there, maybe different, even some pink here. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the camera, but we'll look at it again in a moment closer as it's drying. Um, Robert, okay, that's a wetter ink. It's going down a little more wet out of um, the nib. Soft Kitty Warm Kitty And I'm going to get quite a bit closer there for you. Yeah. Okay, I hope I'm do giving a good representation of this uh, these two inks compared together on the same paper. And again, let's look. So the Soft Kitty Warm Kitty does have a like a green hue, a green under color there in the background. And then the pilot Fuyu Sayogen has leans more blue. So again, let's look closely at the shading and the color sheen here that we see in this one. As compared to this being just kind of flat with um, within the same family, uh, darker to lighter within the same shade. So, so real quick, let's put some ink down on a chromatography strip and see if we can pull out some of those colors. Um, this is the pilot on the left. And then we'll get the Robert Oster on the right. Okay. A little bit of water. I'm just going to dip the dry end of the paper and let the water creep up. It'll start pushing the ink upward. And when it stops moving, I'll, ex I'll change papers. I see some violet coming out. Again, this is the pilot. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I have a little Ollie magnet on my tripod there. And before I even dip this, can you see the color, the ring around that outline there? It's like a, a deep teal. So I'm only dipping the paper, the bottom of the paper down. Oops. letting the water creep up. I'll hold it there a few seconds until the water stops moving. So right, right away, let's see, let me pull this off. Some, I don't know if you can see that. We'll compare them side by side in a moment. Okay, let's see what we have here. The pilot, and these are wet. And the Robert Ulster. Wow. I'll come back when they're dry. 
So we've added the chromatography strips and you can see the uh, pilot has the dark gray. Um, when it first started lifting, it showed like a lilac, uh, violet color, and then it um, turned to pink as the um, ink traveled up through the chromatography paper. And then this has like the the bottom of the ink um, looks almost burgundy, and then it gets lighter with this bright green and blue, which was showing the teal ring around um, the ink before we dipped it in the water. So I hope these comparisons have helped answer some of your questions. And if any of you ever have any questions about inks or pens that you see me use, please put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you out. Thanks for joining me. Have a blessed day.